Are you kidding me? Let me speak with the head librarian. Because it's absurd. An overdue book from 1971? <laughs> this is a joke, right? What are you, from a radio station? <laughs> OK, you got me. I fell for it. All right. OK. I can be down there in like a half hour. But what's the problem? This you're not going to believe. Oh. The New York Public Library. Uh -huh says that I took out Tropic of Cancer in 1971 and never returned it. Do you know how much that comes to? That's a nickel a day for 20 years. It's gonna be $50,000. It doesn't work like that. No, if it's a dime a day, it could be 100,000. It's not gonna be anything. I returned the book. I remember it very vividly because I was with Sherry Becker. Mm -hmm. She wore this orange dress. It's the first time I ever saw in a dress like that. I'd known her since ninth grade, and she was developing this body in secret under these loose clothes for like two years. And then one day, this orange dress is burned in my memory. Ooh, memory burn. <laughs> I wonder what happened to her. How did they find you? Oh, computers, they're cracking down now on overdue books. The whole thing's completely ridiculous. That's George. When he finds out we're going to the library, he'll be thrilled. Uh -huh. You know, I never got a library card. I'm coming down. Yeah. It's all a bunch of cheapskates in there anyway. People sitting around reading the newspaper attached to those huge wooden sticks. <laughs> trying to save a quart. Look, I, I gotta go to the library. You wanna go? Yeah. yeah that's right. <laughs> The Dewey Decimal System. What a scam that was. <laughs> Boy, this Dewey guy really cleaned up on that deal. Where's George? Shh. Yeah, look, trying to save a cord. I kind of like those sticks. I'd like to get them in my house. <laughs> this woman's completely ignoring me. Look at her. This is a lonely woman looking for companionship. A spinster. Maybe a virgin. Maybe she got hurt a long time ago. She's a schoolgirl. There was a boy. It didn't work out. So now she needs a little tenderness. She needs a little understanding. She needs a little Kramer, huh? Then she'll need a little shot of penicillin. Yeah, I called before. I got this notice in the mail. Oh, Tropic of Cancer, Henry Miller. Uh, this case has been turned over to our library investigations officer, Mr. Bookman. Bookman? The library investigator's name is actually Bookman? <laughs> it's true. That's amazing. That's like an ice cream man named Cone. <laughs> Lieutenant Bookman's been working here for 25 years, so I think he's heard all the jokes. Can I speak with this Bookman? Just a second. Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> what? I think I saw him. I think it's him. Who? Did you see the homeless guy on the library steps screaming obscenities and doing some sort of calisthenics routine? Yeah, yeah. 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 I think that's Mr. Heyman. The gym teacher from our high school. Shh. <laughs> Heyman, are you sure? He's older, completely covered in filth. No whistle, but I think it's him. George got him fired. He squealed on him. Ooh, a tattletale. I didn't tattle. <laughs> Shh. Well, what did what'd this guy do? What happened? There was an incident. I'd rather not discuss it. Oh, come on. You can tell me. Some other time. What, tonight? <laughs> You know, I never figured you for a squeak. Oh, he sang like a canary. Mr. Bookman's not here. Not here? Why was I told to come down here? He'll be out all afternoon on a case. He's out on a case? He actually goes out on cases? <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do now? I'll have Mr. Bookman get in touch with you. All right, thanks. Come on, let's go. Let's go see if it's Heyman. It's not him. Hey, I'll, uh, I'll see you boys later. Huh? <laughs> 